Last week, Color 10 reported on damaged road signs in Greene County and the hundreds of dollars it takes to repair and replace them. Now, our Hannah Zettel joins us live with how those signs are made, and it might surprise you that it happens right here in Springfield. Hannah, good morning. Lauren and Joe, good morning. Now, if anybody out there lives on Ridgecrest Avenue uh, and you're missing a road sign, we got it right here. About $100 later, this sign is ready to be put back up on Ridgecrest Avenue. You're going to get a first hand look at how this exact sign was made right here at the sign shop. But yeah, we'll get calls all the time. They'll write it down and I'll make it up for them. 20,000 road signs are spread across Greene County. We try to lay eyes on signs, at least every sign, every two weeks. Each one made and maintained by the County Highway Department. We do road signs, speed limit signs, all the warning signs. Our, our warning signs are yellow face signs. They always get priority. Leroy Gott monitors what signs need to be replaced. Our, like Leroy said, our red face signs, um, we've got to get those up immediately. So and Justin Keith makes them. Stop signs. It'll go on to a retroreflective background. That way it'll be able to reflect through. Crews inspect the quality and reflectivity of signs, each one expected to last a decade. A lot of times our, uh, like our morning signs and stuff, they won't make the 10 year because people shoot holes in them or they take them for their walls or. Orders for $100 replacement signs are placed due to damage, vandalism and theft. Yeah, it's just more taxpayer money that we got to spend because we can't reuse that sign. But stolen signs can cost more than cash. And those get took a lot, you know, and that's a bad thing. Missing signs even delaying emergency services when they're needed the most. We get some calls where somebody will have an uh, emergency over the weekend and uh, they're like, well, the sign's been stolen or the sign's gone and they couldn't find our address. So that, that's a problem. You know, you go take Very important reminder there of the dangers of a missing sign. Now, of course, a replacement sign, as I mentioned, could run upwards of $100. But the good thing is here at the sign shop, they also have a recycling program where they're able to reface signs for only $15 compared to that $100. But again, if they do look like this sign right here that's been totally damaged, that is not going to be able to be replaced. That's just going to go to the scrap yard. And again, that sign to be replaced is going to cost $100 compared to that $15 dollar refacing fee. Reporting in Greene County, Hannah Zettel, Ozarks First.